we're going to be covering a lot of different things from suturing and suturing techniques to stapling, use of skin adhesives and skin tape, and removal of sutures and staples. But even before you start, you have to know when you can close and when you cannot close a wound that's in front of you. And the cases where you cannot close a wound are cases of puncture wounds or human bites, animal bites to the extremities, grossly contaminated wounds, or old wounds. Some texts say greater than eight hours, others say greater than 24 hours. And the reason why is because all of these situations increase the risk of developing an infection in that wound. And when you have such cases, you really want to perform what's called a delayed primary closure. And a delayed primary closure is you're going to clean and debride the wound that's in front of you, and then you're going to pack it with sterile dressing, and then dress the wound, have the patient return in four or five days to reassess the wound, and at that point in time, you can directly close it. You can consider giving antibiotic prophylaxis, but there are no specific guidelines. Again, that's case-by-case -case basis. But for the rest of this section, I hope you enjoy it because by the end, you'll be a pro. This is Hippo Education. <laughs>